Hello everybody, welcome to another episode of Crunky's Single Player Survival Minecraft. Crunky here and we're now on episode 8 of our single player adventure. As you may remember last episode, we crafted ourselves up some items and enchanted them for the first time. And we got ourselves an efficiency 4 pickaxe and a bunch of other goodies. So what I want to do is get straight away to mining. I already started up this branch right here and we're going to mine down here, mine down over there and see how many resources we can get. We're going to start off straight up with a time lapse because it's been a while since I've done one. And so let's get ourselves some resources. This is going to be a short little time lapse, but as usual, I'd like to take this time out to thank you guys for checking out my content. It's not a large number of people, but still just knowing that some people are watching my episodes and enjoying it, it's really strengthening and makes me want to make better content, better builds and better things for the community. And I will always strive to do the best I can, but knowing that you guys are liking my stuff, makes me want to try harder so i just want to ask you guys if you're liking my stuff so far please give me a like it really helps out straight away we found ourselves some diamonds so we have a fortune 2 pickaxe so let's see what we get here one two three four five and six ores and how much that does that bring us eight diamonds not bad I was kind of hoping for a little bit more from Fortune 2, but things will get better once we get Fortune 3. Anyway, back to the time lapse. So we've done two branches of our mining and we've come up with 21 diamonds, which is pretty good for just two branches. But as we were coming here, I realized that once we got to this point here, which was that road that we made to the, the failed road that we made to the skeleton farm drop area. But I noticed that these torches weren't aligned with these torches here, which isn't a big deal. But for me, it's, it kind of bothers me that they're not. So I want to find where I messed up here. It can't be too far along. But yeah, I, my torch laying down is torch, three blocks, torch, three blocks, torch. And I've carried that all the way across. But okay, here we are. So as you can see here, we put down two blocks and then one torch. And so I'm going to fix this up real quick. And... I'll be right back. Now I'm going to return to mining real quick, but before I do that, I want to craft myself up some legs and we have a helmet from last time. And I want to see if we can enchant these with something decent. I'm going to need some lapis. Lapis is here. We obviously have too much stuff in our inventory. Okay, let's go and do some enchanting. This area is really noisy, by the way. Anyways, we're here. Let's throw our lapis in and our pants. I'm breaking three. Not promising. I'm breaking three. Hmm. I also have a pickaxe. But I'm not going to have enough to do the pickaxe and both of my armor sets but let's see what we get here the pickaxe is also fortune 3 so I'm gonna take a risk and go with the legs and see what we get protection 4 on breaking 3 not bad now our helmet on breaking 3 again efficiency 4 hmm hmm we can only do one Let's go with the pickaxe. Efficiency four breaking on um, breaking three, not bad. Wish there was some silk touch with that, but we'll live. The helmet will have to wait till next time. Hello there. You want some chicken? 
we did a little bit more mining and we have enough levels to try this helmet let's see what we get here protection four looking good so far and we get protection four on breaking three very nice so to wrap up our gear we have unbreaking three protection four on our helmet protection four on the chest plate unbreaking three protection four on the legs and unbreaking three depth strider three on our shoes i'd say that's not too bad not too bad at all We've made it back to the base and as promised, I'm going to be doing some decorating today. I grabbed all of my white concrete. So let's use our fancy elevator and get all the way up to the top. And so we're going to start clearing out this area here and filling it in with white concrete. And I have a design in mind. Um, I've worked it out in creative and yeah, I'll show you that in a bit. And for the reveal, boom. I like it, it's really clean. I think I wanna put a sea lantern here, here, and over here. But in order to do that, we need a guardian farm and we just don't have that at the moment. So instead, we'll leave it as it is with the torches. We'll fix that up once we do get a guardian farm. But I also wanna, I wanna start filling this up with white concrete i don't know if i have enough it should be enough but yeah i'm gonna get started on that so it turns out i had plenty of concrete i have plenty left over so i'm just gonna drop these back in the bin here and let's go take a look as you can see as we walk into here everything is all nice and white it needs a little bit of lighting up but that's, like I said, that's going to have to wait until we get a guardian farm so we can get some sea lanterns in here. But let's take a ride up. And as you can see, it's all nice and white. And yeah, I'm really liking this place. You may remember from the last episode that I said that, you know, if you stick around, I'll have a surprise. And I think I want to work on that now. So I'm going to gather up some resources and I'll meet you back here in a bit. All right, so we're here and we have the resources that we need. And so let's get started. And we're done. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I, I did want to patch up that hole. So you might have guessed what we want to start working on here is the 3x3 three three piston door that we will be setting up right here. And so this is how it's going to go. I'm going to try very hard to build this on camera. I'm going to fail and you're not going to be able to see it. But instead, you'll get progress updates in the middle and once it's finished and if you guys really want to see how I built this you know leave it down in the comments and maybe I'll be able to make a tutorial for you guys but I'm gonna get started and I'm gonna start filming and get ready to throw out this tape like I said I was not gonna be able to build this on camera so here we are with the progress update we've got a good portion of the bottom area finished and so right now, this gives our piston a push up there. When we drop it down, it does the part of the double piston extension, but it does not complete it. So at this moment, it pushes the block out, pushes it up. We pull it down, it pulls it back, and it does not double extend to get that last block. And those of you that are watching this might realize that this is mumbo jumbo's three by three piston door so far and it is but there's are, there are going to be a few minor adjustments that i'm going to make uh, one thing that mumbo jumbo's three by three piston door did was it had one side of the door with visible redstone and honestly i don't think that really fits in with a clean build like this so i want to make it flush whereas everything above the ground would fit in a one by, well, just one block area. So this whole center block here will all be redstone, but everything from here and up and here and up will all be just walls. So it'll be a wall on either side and just a door in the middle. So you won't be able to see any redstone. We have more of the door in place. And as you can see here, when we flick the lever, we get our closing action 
and then with the flick of the lever again, we do get the double piston extension to open the door. Now all we gotta do is wire up these side pistons and the top piston, which I haven't placed yet, and then we should be good to go. All right, the main circuitry for the three by three piston door is now all set up. And all we gotta do is now is try it out. And fingers crossed, all we gotta do is drop this piston here, sorry, this redstone torch here, and we get a closing action. When we remove it, double piston extension to open the door. So everything seems good. Let's try that again. And then we're good. So I'm gonna go ahead and close this up now, just so we can see this in person up here. And yeah, everything looks perfectly closed. Now all you gotta do is set up a button system to turn the system on and off. And the system I've chosen to use requires some observers. So I'm gonna go grab some observers and I'll be back to you guys in a bit. For the moment of truth, our button is in place and I'll walk you through how it works. So when we press this button, this redstone line will light up. It'll hit this piston, which will then push this observer out. When the observer moves, it'll give a one tick pulse, making this into a monostable circuit, which will then push this block right here. It'll leave its block here because of the one tick pulse. The redstone torch will light up the block, which will light up this redstone line, which will go into this block, which is our redstone torch that closes the door. So if all goes as planned, this should open the door. And then when we hit again, it should close the door as well. So let's give that a try. There we go. As you can see, the monostable circuit worked. And when we hit the button again, this should again give a one tick pulse, which will pull back the block and it will unlight this redstone line, which should close our door. And here we go. And there we go. We, full, we have full closing and full opening action. And as you can see, like I mentioned before, this line right here has no redstone above ground. And the same goes for this line over here as well. There's no redstone above ground. So this can be a complete wall and it'll be completely flush with the wall. I don't have to worry about redstone being seen on either side and that's exactly what I wanted. So all I gotta do now is set up the button on this side and once I get that done, I'll show you guys and then we'll be done with this side and we gotta repeat the same process over on that side. So let me get this button in and I'll show you how it works. We got our button in on this side as well and I'll walk you through, through the redstone. We have a redstone line that goes right under the button. It goes down through here and it goes around all the other redstone and into that piston that we had earlier. So. Either button will light up the same piston, which should produce the same monostable circuit action. So let's try to get back up here. Uh, I'll need a pillar up. I think this was my pillar from earlier. So yeah, let's pillar back up. We'll hit the button. We close, hit the button again, and it opens. So everything is good. All I gotta do is clean this area up, lay down my flooring, lay down my walls, and we should be finished with this side. To show you that it's completely flush on this side, I have now closed the door, the walls put in place, and we hit the switch, and our door opens, we go through, and also there's no redstone on this side, so I can close this side up as well, and we'll have a completely flush three by three piston door. And yeah, I really like that. I'm debating whether I want to keep this white concrete or not because I think this whole area here is going to be white concrete and it might blend in a little bit too much. So I'll consider changing that to maybe the iron blocks, but for now we'll leave it just because I don't have this place decorated yet. And once we do, we'll have that all sorted out. But for now, I'm going to go and finish this up on this side as well. And I'll be back in a minute. So you've seen this door already. You've seen that it closes, it opens. So we're gonna close this up again, just so that nothing gets in or out. And we're gonna head over here. As you can see, we've got our wall in, we've got some little natural features just to make it look, look, look a little bit more natural. And we also have a button here. So I'm gonna hit this button and you'll see that it closes pretty quick. Press it again and it opens almost as quick. And as you can see, this entire wall is completely closed off. And on the inside, it's not 
closed off yet, but there's nothing blocking it from doing so. And yeah, both buttons work. Both buttons open, close the door. Everything, everything's looking good. So I'm gonna close this door real quick. We're gonna head in. And yeah, it's looking like a great start to our base. I can't wait till I can expand this out and start building within the base. But yeah, everything's looking great. I'm really excited for this. But once again, it's that time again. That time that Crunky needs to get his sleep. It's getting late. But uh, before I go, I, I do want to mention, you know, if you want to see a tutorial for this 3x3 piston door, again, this is a modification of Mumble Jumbo's 3x3 piston door. But if you'd like to see how this one's built, you know, leave, leave a comment down in the comment section and just let me know that you do want to see this tutorial. And if I get enough comments, if I get enough likes, I'll go ahead and I'll build that tutorial so that you guys can build it in your world as well. But like I said, it's getting late and I need to get some sleep. So until next time, I've been, this has been Crunky and we'll see you in the next one.